Hello everyone, today we're going to look at parallel and perpendicular lines. Two lines are parallel if they never intersect. And what that means via their slopes is that either their slopes are the same, so m1 equals m2, or both lines are vertical. Remember, vertical lines don't have a slope, so I can't say their slopes are equal. Two lines are perpendicular if they intersect at a 90 degree angle. What that means for their slopes is that one of the slopes has to be the negative reciprocal of the other. Whoops, I forgot the negative sign there. So we should have uh, m1 equals negative 1 over m2. Or one of the lines is perpendicular and the other one horizontal. Because again, vertical lines don't have a slope, so I can't have a negative reciprocal of something that doesn't exist. So we're going to determine whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So we have the lines y equals 3x minus 4 and x plus 3y equals 18. So the goal here is to determine the slopes of each equation. So for the first one, it's in slope-intercept form. Remember, y equals mx plus b. So our m, our slope for the first one, must be 3. For the second equation, we're going to have to put it into slope-intercept form in order to find the slope. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract the x. And then we want to get rid of the 3. So I don't have to do out this whole thing. Remember, all I care about is the slope. So I just need to know what is the coefficient of x going to be. So my um, variable part is going to be negative x over 3, which means the slope is negative 1 over 3. So I don't really care about taking the 18 and dividing it by 3. I don't care about the b. All I really want is the slope, my m. So m2 is negative 1 third. So I have 3 and I have negative 1 third. The first thing I want to check is are those two numbers equal? So are our lines parallel? Hopefully you can see no, so they're not parallel. Are they perpendicular? They are of opposite signs, and one is the reciprocal of the other, so they are in fact perpendicular. How about 4x plus 2y equals 16, and 12x plus 6y equals 48? Okay, so for the first equation, again, we're going to solve it for y. So I'm going to subtract my 4x over to the other side, and then divide both sides by 2. And again, all I care about is m, which will be negative 4 over 2. So m2 is negative 2. Make sure you always simplify, right? 4 over 2 is 2. And then for our second equation, again, I'm going to move my x's over and divide by my 6. And again, my slope is the coefficient of x, which will be negative 12 over 6, which is negative 2. So as we can see, m1 and m2 are both negative 2, so that means these lines must be parallel. So let's try another one. Uh, y equals x minus 1, and 4x plus 4y equals 10. So the first one, again, is in y equals mx plus b. So our slope is the coefficient of x. I don't see a coefficient, which means that it's 1. So m1 must be 1. And then for our second equation, again, I'm going to solve it for y. So I subtract my x's, divide by 4, and my new slope is negative 4 over 4 which is negative 1. So again, the next thing we do is ask ourselves, are these two numbers equal? No. And then we look at, are they negative reciprocals of each other? So 1 and negative 1 are opposite signs. And remember that 1 is 1 over 1. And when I flip it, I still get 1 over 1. So they are negative reciprocals of each other which means that the lines are, in fact, perpendicular. 
So let's try another one. y equals 2x minus 5 and 10x plus 5y equals 30. Again, our first one happens to be in y equals mx plus b form. So the slope of the first one is the 2. And for the second one, we will, set it, uh, we will solve it for y. So subtract the 10x. Divide everything by 5. And again, our slope is going to be this negative 10 over 5, which is negative 2. 2 and negative 2 are not equal, so the lines are not parallel. And they are also not reciprocals of each other. They are opposite signs, but remember the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. So they're negatives, but not negative reciprocals. So they are neither parallel nor perpendicular. They intersect, but not at a 90 degree angle. So let's do some other types of questions. Find the slope-intercept equation of the lines with the given information. The first one is a line that passes through to negative 3 and is parallel to the line y equals 4x minus 4. So the first thing we want to do is find the slope of our line that we're given. Again, y equals 4x minus 4 is in slope-intercept form, so the slope is 4. So m1, the slope of the line we're given is 4. The line we want is parallel, which means m2, the slope of our line, must also be 4. So now I have the slope, I also have a point, and I can put my equation directly into point-slope form. So we're going to start with point-slope form. So remember, the equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So y minus negative 3 becomes y plus 3. My slope is 4, and then I have x minus 2. The question tells me to put it into slope-intercept form. So this equation, I then have to solve for y. So the first thing that I would do, I kind of skipped some steps here. First thing I would do is distribute my 4. So I have y plus 3 equals 4x minus 8, and then subtract 3 from both sides. So that's how I get my y equals 4x minus 11. How about the line um, that passes through 0, 8 and is perpendicular to y equals 2 thirds x minus 4? So again, the, uh, the line that we're given is in slope-intercept form. So the slope of the first one is the 2 over 3. Our line is perpendicular. So m2, the, the slope of the line that we want, must be the negative reciprocal of 2 thirds. So I need to make it negative, and I need to flip it. So my equation's uh, slope is negative 3 over 2. I am also given the y-intercept. Remember that's 0 comma something. So I can put it directly into slope-intercept form. y equals negative 3 over 2 x plus 8. So let's try another one. Passes through negative 3, 1 and is parallel to 3y plus 5x equals 4. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find the slope. This equation is not in slope-intercept form, so we need to put it into it. So again, we bring over the x's, so negative 5x plus 4 is equal to the 3y. Divide everything by 3. This negative 5 thirds is the slope that we want. And our line is parallel, which means it has the same slope. So our line must also have a slope of negative 5 thirds. And we're given a point, negative 3, 1. So I'm going to put this line into point slope form. So y minus my y value equals m times x minus my x value. So y minus 1 equals negative 5 thirds x plus 3. And again, we need to put it into slope-intercept form. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute my m. So notice when I multiply 5 thirds by 3, the 3's cancel. 
and I've just got a negative 5. And then I'll add my 1 to both sides. So I end up with negative 5 thirds x minus 4. Don't forget you can always check this out, plug in your point, and make sure you're getting what you're supposed to get. Okay, there's no reason not to check any of your answers. And then the last one passes through 4 comma 0 and is perpendicular to 4x minus 2y equals 10. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is find the slope. So I'm going to um, start solving this for y. So I subtract my 4x from both sides, divide by negative 2. The slope is negative 4 over negative 2. Simplify that, of course, and we get 2. Our line is perpendicular to it, so our slope must be negative 1 over 2. Okay, so negate it, change the sign, and flip it. So 2 over 1 becomes 1 over 2. And then again, we have a point 4 comma 0. That's not the y-intercept, right? That's the x-intercept. So I'm going to put this into point-slope form. We get uh, y minus 0, which is just y, equals negative 1 half, in parentheses, x minus 4. And then the only thing we have to do here to put it into slope-intercept form is distribute the negative 1 half. So we get y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Okay, so make sure you read through the book, um, try out some of the practice problems, try out the homework, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.